Hey guys, Ernie here and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Today we're going to be doing our next episode in our budget bushcraft series. Today's topic, tarps, so stay tuned. So guys, to me, one of the essential items you need and one of Dave Canterbury's five C's is cover. Now, there's a lot of things you can use for cover. Lots of different tents, tarps, and all kinds of stuff. But there's certain things that you want to look for. This right here is the Bushcraft USA 10x7 tarp in Coyote Brown. Let's go over the specs, and I'm going to tell you guys why I think this is the best tarp for the money if you're starting out bushcraft. So let's talk some specs. Like I said, this is 10 feet by 7 feet. It's in Coyote Brown. Now a lot of people like a 10 by 10 tarp, and I do too, don't get me wrong. But when I was purchasing this tarp, I just thought I'd do something a little bit different. For the price, which is $48, it's a pretty darn good price for a 10 by 7. And you still have a lot of options with that size tarp. You may have more options with a 10 by 10, but I already had a 10 by 10 and I really wanted to check out the Bushcraft USA tarps, so I bought a 10 by 7. It's made out of 70D, 1.9 ounce ripstop nylon, and it's urethane coated. It has 0.75 ounces per yard of that urethane coating, and it really is pretty water resistant. It comes with its own stuff sack, as you can see here, and has 14 perimeter tie-out points. These are loop tie-out points, which I'll show you, not grommets, and that's really important, I think. It also has one ridgeline tie-out point. Lastly, guys, is the weight. One pound, one ounce, for a pretty nice sized tarp. All in all, I think the specs on this tarp are definitely worth the money. So how do I hang this thing up? I've got it all right here inside this stuff sack. Let me show you. Of course, you've got the tarp itself. Inside the tarp, I have a couple of things. Tent stakes, bank line, and my ridge line, which in my case, I use some paracord. So let me back this camera up and I'll show you guys how I can quickly set this up in a pretty easy mode. We got these two uh, trees here and you can see this one has a very large hook in it, which uh, I may take out if I can find a way to try to, you know, fix this tree up. Across the way is another hook. I don't know if this was to hang some kind of a line or something, I don't know, but we're gonna use it today to hang up our tarp and we're gonna be pretty low to the ground. These are only about, I would say probably five feet off the ground. So this is gonna be more for a ground dwelling. So let's uh, set this thing up. Now to get this ridge really tight on both ends, I'm just going to use some simple wooden toggles on both sides. So before you tighten your ridge line too much, give it a little slack so you can put these into the ridge line. I'll show you what I mean here in a second. All right, so these are the center of the ridge line. So you want to put your put a little loop of paracord through the center and just set one of your toggles in there and it'll pretty much self-tighten once you get both ridge lines up. If I had a dollar for every time that I put my ridge line and put it taut before I put my toggles through, I'd be retired. In fact, I did it on this video, but decided to edit it out. But now I'm coming to confession. Okay guys, so how do I go about attaching it to this side? Over there, just did a simple loop. Over here, we want to get just far enough away, give it some tightness, get just far enough away that you know when you give it, when you clamp it down, it's not going to get too close over there. I'll show you what I mean in a second. So you're going to tie a simple loop. You can see it right here. And then you're going to pass this side through the loop, not step on the paracord if you can help it. And then it'll come into frame better here. You can see right there what you're looking at. All you got to do now is tie it off and you've got yourself a nice tight ridge line. You can see how quickly I can move the ridge line over and move the tarp over on the ridge line because of those toggles. Now I'm going to use my tent stakes to easily put these things out. It's 
So here I am under my little tarp. Very simple, simple to set up. Um, are the tent stakes really bush crafty? No. But you can very easily make your own stakes with um, just wooden twigs. You know, it's not hard to do. You've seen a lot of channels, you've seen on some of my videos. I was just trying to get this done out here and make this video. And to tell you the truth, these particular stakes, if you're in a hurry, you know, if you're going on a bushcraft trip and you're really wanting to sharpen your skills and you're really wanting to learn new things, by all means, go out there, make your own peg stakes, uh, do all that stuff. If you're using your tarp just for camping, just for going out on the, you know, on the trail and you're going to sleep underneath it, by all means, um, take some stakes. I mean, it takes so much less time. And if you're in a situation where you're in a hurry and you're in a storm or something like that happens, man, by all means, make it easier on yourself. In my bag, in my stuff sack, I carry a ridge line. I have all my four corners already pre-put with bank line. And I carry an extra little hank of uh, bank line just in case I need it uh, for anything else. Yeah, so that's it. That's my review, sort of review of the Bushcraft USA tarp. And it's my pick for budget bushcraft tarps. Really simple, really nice, really easy tarp to use. Um, I really like it. It has these tie-out points. You guys probably didn't, but it's actually loops of um, nylon instead of grommets. And that's a really big deal. Grommets can break very easily. These can break theoretically, but if you have a decent uh, kit to put things back together, some thread and a needle, you can easily easily fix one of these. So I really like this tarp. I encourage you guys to take a good look at it on the Bushcraft USA tarp um, website. This is not a paid review. This is my own sort of review and it is going to tie into our budget bushcraft series. You want to be able to go out there, have fun bushcrafting and not worry about money being uh, money standing in your way, I guess is the best way to put it. $48, you get a very very versatile tarp. If you're willing to spend 60, you can get a 10 by 10 tarp, which is going to give you even more versatility. I like the 7 by 10. It is big enough for me to be able to stay under by myself. It's even big enough for uh, me and one of my kids to stay overnight, which we've done. So as always, guys, I appreciate you guys tuning in to Paleo Hiker MD. I'm going to continue the Budget Bushcraft series over time. If you have not watched the other Budget Bushcraft series videos, I'll put links to all of them below and uh, encourage you guys to like them can't tell you guys enough how much it helps if you give me the thumbs up down there so do that right now okay and thanks for watching appreciate all y'all's input appreciate all your help and I appreciate all your support stay tuned soon for more videos here on Paleo Hiker MD